Hello Leo, welcome to another you and them love reading. Uh, this is going to be all about your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed in the near future. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So just keep that in mind, and we're going to jump right in. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, for, excuse me, for Leo, please. For Leo, when it comes to love. All right, for Leo spirit, what's going on in this connection? This reading is for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. It's the energy surrounding Leo and love. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Family situation here. Just a strong union. Okay, what else? What else can you tell me? About Leo. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. Hmm. Interesting. So there has been some sort of wake up call here. So I'm, I have a deck for you, Leo, a deck for your person. Um, I'll be using each of these decks for both of you, obviously. Um, I'll have you on this side and your person on the other, but you can flip it if it resonates more. All right, for Leo's spirit, what messages do you have for Leo regarding this person or this connection? What is Leo thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection or this other person? What is Leo thinking or feeling spirit for Leo? Oh, we have the Six of Cups. So this is someone from the past, someone that you have memories with. It could also be a past life connection. Six of Swords, Reverse. What else can you tell me for Leo? Page of Pentacles Reverse. Hmm. So something didn't really happen here. With the Page of Pentacles Reverse, either this offer is taken forever to arrive or it never really arrived. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, I have the Empress. So let's see, let's get some more information about your energies here. Tell me more about Leo. What is Leo's energy at this time? Oh, we got the lizard. The lizard has kind of like a sixth sense. Um, they're also, um, they tend to be like natural introverts. So almost like they kind of like need to recharge Let's see what else I can just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because each of these cards there's so many messages so here's what is yet to be spoken sees what is yet to manifest so yeah it's almost like a sixth sense of what could possibly happen maybe this is someone that's very um, maybe you are someone that's very sensitive to um, not I don't mean sensitive like like just emotional but almost like you can you're very perceptive to other people have good instincts um, so when it comes to this connection I feel like there's something you just knew down deep in your gut basically um, maybe you know your person very well so let's see what about your person? Tell me about the person that Leo is dealing with. Today. Tell me about the person that Leo is dealing with. What are their energies this time? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo? I am going to clarify all of these, but I just wanted to set down your energies first. Tell me about Leo's person. What are they thinking or feeling? When it comes to the Leo or this connection. Six of Cups reverse. Wow. Okay. Queen of 
Queen of Swords. What do you think you're offering when it comes to Leo? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Holy crap. And then I have the Page of Swords at the bottom. So this person, I feel, wants to make you a very big offer here. Maybe they want to offer commitment. Um, something tangible. This is, could be a gift. An actual, like, like for some of you, it could be a proposal or some sort of opportunity with this person. But I have the Queen of Swords here. So this could be like a serious talk that you have with this other person. It could be that they see you as a Queen of Swords. Someone that maybe has put up strong boundaries. Um, someone that may be hard to read. Tell me more about this person's energy spirit. Tell me more about this person's energy. Their energy. Ah, the fish. Interesting. The fish is kind of um, directionless. They don't know which direction to go. They kind of just go with the current, go with the flow without having a set purpose or goal. They can be slippery, wishy-washy, you know, can't really make up their mind. Hmm. So let's see. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Six of Cups here for Leo. Why is the Six of Cups here? Four of Pentacles reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. What the heck? Wheel of Fortune, this is like divine timing, serendipity, good luck, fortune. Then I have the Four of Pentacles reverse. Can I get one more for the Six of Cups? The Hierophant. Taurus energy here. Queen of Swords reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. Very interesting. I just, I'm picking up almost like you haven't been able to leave the past behind. It could also be your person. It's almost like the past is chasing you or following you. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? The Sun Reverse. Okay, so I'm getting a few messages. I have the Five of Pentacles reversed with the Page of Cups. I'm getting a few messages. I'm getting that you, Mio, some of you are very unhappy in a connection. Um, and are almost waiting for an opportunity here to overcome this. To um, not struggle so much. Maybe you're waiting for an apology from someone. Others of you, I feel like... And this is such a weird message, but I'm just going to say it because, and it's not even in the card specifically. It's just what instantly comes to my mind as I'm looking at the cards. And it's like, I want to interpret it differently, but I keep getting this message. And I feel like a lot of you are putting on a brave face, but it's not real. Like deep down, you're really struggling, but on the outside, everything looks really hunky dory. Let's keep going. 
Why is this six of pen uh not six of pentacles, six of swords reverse? Why is this six of swords reverse? King of Cups. Why is the six of swords? Reverse. Justice? Wow. Ace of Wands reverse. So again, um, I feel like Justice is here to make something right because something's not right. Could be a legal situation for some of you. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, a water sign. The Six of Swords is a card about wanting to leave something behind and maybe you're prevented or delayed from doing so. It could also be a card about returning. You know, this could be somebody that wants to make something right with you that never really took off or never really began out of love. I'm, I'm seeing that too. You know, like this is someone that maybe has a lot of emotions, feelings for you here and wants to maybe return to you. And I think it might be this person because I feel like they want to, they haven't really um, left the past. Maybe they could be wanting to, you know, return. Okay. This is still throwing me off. This this higher font with the sun reverse. First, I want to look at this wheel of fortune. Tell me about this wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune, I feel, is here to progress something. But see, ace of cups reverse. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm saying. The Wheel of Fortune should be something amazing, and yet there's heartbreak or disappointment. The Hierophant is usually something that's traditional, has values, morals, upstanding, um, doing the right thing, um, seeking higher knowledge, you know. And then I have it with the Sun Reverse. So it's almost like there's something that looks good but isn't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this message. Please tell me if this is resonating down in the comments. Because I feel like there's something that looks good on the outside but isn't. Or someone's hiding what they're truly feeling. I have the Ace of Cups reverse, the Ace of Wands reverse. It could be that something had a lot of uh, potential but never really took off. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Yep, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Two of Cups, wow. So this is about a connection, Four of Cups. So again, I feel like something, you know, maybe something is very, a very strong partnership, strong bonds here with the Two of, Pen uh, two of Cups. But then with the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Page of Pentacles reverse, it's almost like it hasn't arrived. Um, this offer hasn't arrived. It's taken a long time to get to you. There's a lot of delays. And I'm almost picking up like maybe you're losing interest. Maybe you've been waiting way too long for, for this Two of Cups, you know. And I feel like you're very unhappy here, Aries. Maybe this person has just been, you know, just wishy-washy, unable to really get something done. Maybe they make promises they can't keep or, you know, maybe this has been really stop and go or has just been so far back in the past that it's almost like, am I imagining things? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm picking up here. You could be already in a long-term commitment and very unhappy where this person is. Okay, so let's see. Tell me more about this person that Leo is dealing with. Did I call you Aries? I hope I didn't. Because I wanted to just say Aries right now. Okay, tell me about the Six of Cups. I know some people don't like hearing like other signs, but usually it's because someone out there is probably dealing with that sign. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. The Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. 
There's the Six of Cups reverse. The sun. Can you get one more? For the Six of Cups reverse. I feel like this person is attracted to something bright. Uh, like something bright is getting them out of, yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. So it's almost like this person has withdrawn completely. Maybe there was a separation here where someone feels like they're out in the cold, right? In the dark, right? The Both of these cards, I feel like, you know, they're outside at night. The Hermit especially needs a lamp. But then there's like the sun. So it's almost like they're seeking warmth, seeking light, seeking happiness. What's the sun about? Whoa. That one just like flew out. King of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. What's the sun about? Wow, Ten of Swords. I was not expecting that. So this is that clarity card. Sudden realization. Someone has had some sort of clarity here. There's, they, they were withdrawn far, far away. Um, and maybe they were seeking the truth or the light about something. And here it is. And it's tied to the end of a cycle. Maybe they had a difficult ending and this has brought clarity to them. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. And Leo, you could be dealing with someone who maybe you haven't been in contact with. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to make things right. And I feel it's with I feel like you're the Queen of Swords, Leo. Eight of yeah, eight of wands reverse. You might have blocked this person or cut off contact with this person. Um, or maybe the message is delayed because you're so hard to talk to or reach. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune again. We got the Wheel of Fortune twice, guys. This is big. This is a big shift, a big change. A 360 or 180, whatever you want to call it. What is this Wheel of Fortune about? Now you have the Ace of Cups reversed, so let's see, what's this Wheel of Fortune? Can you tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune here? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. The Moon, Pisces energy. See, there's something unclear, something off here. You know, the Wheel of Fortune should bring It's good luck, good fortune, and I have the, the justice card once more here at the bottom of the deck. This could be something that maybe is um, hidden or is confusing or maybe there's an illusion here with whatever is happening. But I feel like this is someone that's in the dark. Because I have justice here. Oh my God, another three of swords. Okay, no. So what I'm getting is that I feel like there's going to be a disappointment here no matter what happens. So it's like one person here is going to be disappointed at the fact that there is going to be a rebalancing here. A wheel turning, moving things forward. It's almost like there's still difficulty. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for Leo? King of Wands reverse. Knight of Cups and then have the Two of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this is someone that's undecided. Okay, so this is this is starting to make sense to me. Um, this is someone that I feel wants to do things right like they want to bring you a nice big offer maybe apologize um express how they feel something very genuine and sweet here with the knight of cups but then i have the king of wands reverse 
and then I have like the two of swords. So this could be you blocking this person. This could be you un unaware of this person coming in or someone here is very undecided. You know, this fish energy. Maybe they don't have the courage um, that's required here. Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles again. So I feel like this is someone... Maybe they've made a lot of promises. Maybe they've made a lot of changes in their life. But I I don't know. It's almost like they mess... Screw up an opportunity almost. <laughs> or they, they set their mind on something but they don't follow through. Can I get one more about this moon? Can I get one more please? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? The tower. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> this is going to be something sudden. A shake up here. There's going to be a tower. Your person might initiate it. Um, it might happen to your person. Holy crap. This is huge though. King of Swords. Someone knows exactly what they're doing here with this tower. This is almost... The King of Swords is not dumb. The King of Swords, they don't let anything get in their way. It's almost like this person is whatever Wheel of Fortune type of energy comes in, whatever sudden opportunity or sudden stroke of luck comes in, I feel like this person is going to try to, it's going to lead to a tower or cause a tower. And it's like almost like it's going to bring sudden clarity. Something is going to be seen clearly is what I'm seeing here. Something that you're not aware of. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Leo, please. This is crazy reading. What is this person thinking or feeling about Leo? I'm confused. It's that fish energy. I see you in my dreams. So what I'm picking up is this person, I feel like they're not going to know what to do and then a tower happens like for them. I need more time. I see you in my dreams. I need more time. I don't feel you're with this person. Um, I feel like there's a distance between you, something that's in the way here. Um, maybe that's why they're the five of the hermit reverse and the five of pentacles. They're, they're outside somewhere or, or emotionally far away. Maybe even far away physically. So where's all of this headed? Where's all of this headed for Leo, Spirit, and this other person? Where's all of this headed in the near future? Where's all of this headed in the near future? For Leo, please. The Chariot Reverse Cancer Energy. Where is all of this headed in the near future? Death. Wow, Scorpio energy. There's going to be a big change here. Six of Swords. Wow. A big change, an ending to a cycle, a departure. I feel like it's going to be a slow progression or slow departure. Or maybe someone was stuck until there was this big ending or transformation, which I feel is tied to this uh, tower moment here with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they're, they're connected here. So it's going to be a huge shift in this connection. Someone's going to be moving forward. Uh, maybe they weren't, weren't able to before, but then there's a big change, transformation, big transition here that takes place in this connection. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.